Hey guys, it's Heather from Here She Grows, and today I'm in my husband's workshop in the basement. And typically I'm really not down here very often unless it's the winter time and I have to come down here every three to four weeks to check on these guys. These are my, I have a fig tree, it's a Chicago hardy fig, and a Brugmansia tree that I check uh, for moisture every three to four weeks. And uh, I thought I'd take you down here with me and show you what I do. I noticed a lot of people expressing, expressing an interest in growing fig trees this coming year and I completely support that. It is a super awesome tree to grow. It's beautiful, offers great fruit, uh, the leaf is so pretty and it's such a tough fruit, tough tree. So unlike like apple trees and pear trees, there's no spraying involved with a fig tree. I, have, I do nothing. I'm an organic gardener. Um, I put a little fertilizer in the containers a couple times a year for these guys and then I let them do their thing. And really the most important thing you can do is keep them watered, and then check them throughout the winter um, in zone 5B. So I do store these in, in my basement, my husband's workshop. So um, it's a Chicago hardy fig, blah, Chicago hardy fig, and you can grow these outside and leave them out there all year. I choose not to do that. I grow mine in a container because I like that instant gratification of having a tree that can go right back out into the garden and not have to wait for it to grow up from the ground again, which is what often happens with fig trees that are hardy to zone five, but they will come often die back completely. And then you're starting from, from scratch again. And the roots remain alive, but the top growth dies back. So, so in order to not, to not have to deal with that, I bring mine, I grow mine in container, bring them in for the winter. And if you remember, I brought these in in October. I think I documented that in my, my Instagram story, but uh, I grow them. My fig tree is grown in an earth pot and then it's got handles on it. I can, my husband, and I just carry it into the basement into his workshop. And this is where it stays until probably March, depending on the weather. And what's interesting about a fig tree, and actually I have a Brugmansia down here too, so they're, they're both back here. But um, what's interesting about both trees is right around February, they start, it's almost like they know when spring is about, is coming. And they start throwing up very, uh, kind of a lime green growth and it's pretty anemic looking but it, they're waking up and I don't know how they do that because this is a completely dark pitch black space unless my husband's working down here but this is a dark space it receives no natural light at all so um, and they do perfectly fine so I just thought I'd take you along and show you what I do uh, as far as care which is very minimal in the winter time it's just about keeping them hydrated and not overly hydrated um, because you don't want the tree to dry the roots to dry out so it's just about giving them a taste of water so they don't get bone dry and die and I've had success with this we've done this for three years now and um, it's going great knock on wood so um, and what I do is I harvested a ton of water from my rain barrel and then I just put it in old water jugs so that I keep a stash of it down here so that if they're, the trees are, are dry, I can just reach over and fill it. I can't use tap water here because we have hard water that we soften. And so I don't wanna use the tap water because of the sodium content in that tap water. So I use the rain barrel water and it works great. So I'll show you what I do as far as checking them. And really it is just as simple as a finger test in the soil like you would do in your containers uh, in your garden in the summertime is sticking your finger two, three inches down into the soil, and if it feels dry, give it a drink. And it's that simple. So, and it's the same pr process for both my fig tree and my Brigmansia. So, um, let me show you. Okay, so here are the trees. I'm sorry for my shadow. It's just so dimly lit in here. But this is my Chicago hardy fig here. And then in the back is my angel's trumpet, the Brugmansia. And you can see it's throwing up a little bit of weak growth here but um, I had to cut this back considerably because it was so tall but um, I'm simply just going to test, test them both so it's just about sticking my finger in the soil here and yeah this is really dry so that's going to get some water and then I'll do the same with the Brugmansia and um, oops sorry about that and then the Brugmansia as well so yeah both of them need a drink and then I'm just gonna pour it in. And uh, sorry about that, it's really tight in here. So this is a, a gallon jug of water from my rain barrel. And I'm just gonna pour it in. 
So maybe about a half a gallon. Yeah, probably about a half a gallon in each tree. So we do the Brugmansia as well. And I'm sorry, it is so dimly dim back here, but. And it's really, it's that simple. And so this is the first year I've grown the uh, fig tree in the smart pot before I had it in just a regular plastic container. But um, it does leak because the soil starts to pull away from the sides. So you have to make sure that the soil is actually getting into, if you're going to use a smart pot, you want to make sure that the, so the water is actually penetrating the soil and not leaking out uh, through the gap that's in here because this, the, the soil will start to pull away from the pot. But um, yeah, so far so good, and it's still alive. And uh, I'm looking forward to March when I can start bringing these guys out and have a beautiful um, fig tree and a Brugmansia tree once again. And that's it. So that's how simple it is to overwinter a fig tree and a Brugmansia tree in your basement in a cold climate. So um, I'll bring these guys up probably in March sometime and start introducing them to light, depending on how the winter goes and how quickly we warm up, warm up around here. You just never know. Um, but I'm thrilled to be growing it, and uh, I hope you try it too because they are a s simple tree to grow, simple fruiting tree to grow, and um, they require no pesticides or anything like that, like a pear or an apple tree might, to, um, to produce really good fruit. And just FYI, my first year of having these, I grew these from sticks that were no bigger than my thumb, my, my pinky finger. I had two of them and I wound them together. But um, the first year they wanted to throw up a little fruit and I took the fruit off because I really wanted the, the tree to focus on root growth. So re I removed the fruit the first summer. The second summer I allowed it to fruit a little bit and still removed some of them. And then the third summer, which was this past summer, I let it go full steam and it was great I had a great fruit set the only thing I battled was picking them in time because the wasp it's almost like the wasps seem to wait too so I think that would be the only drawback of growing a fig is the wasps are laying in wait to get at that fruit too so as soon as the fruit droops um, when it's before it's fully ripe the fruit will stand upright and once it's ripened it will droop and the color will be It'll be a beautiful purpley brown almost. Um, I don't know how else to explain it, but the fruit drops. And it's that point you want to pick it because the fruit, if you pick it prematurely, the fruit, unlike like a tomato, it's not going to ripen after it's been picked. It has to ripen on the tree. So anyway, um, I hope you give figs a try and I'll update you again in a couple months um, when I start getting, or actually when it starts showing signs that it's waking up. I think that'll be interesting to show you too how uh what you can expect and probably february around here it'll start looking it'll start greening up a little bit and it's an interesting process because it's completely dark down here but anyway thanks for watching guys and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe that would be great and uh, i'll keep continue to update you over the next couple months and certainly um next year when we bring it out back out into the garden and uh Give figs a try. The one that I'm growing, <clears throat> excuse me, the one that I'm growing is a Chicago hardy fig, but there are several different varieties out there. Brown turkey, uh, I have no experience with any of those, so I can only attest to the Chicago hardy fig, but it's certainly a fruit tree uh, that's worth trying in the Midwest. And you can grow them in containers or grow them in the ground, and um, really there's, they're really simple. So I hope you give it a shot, and uh, feel free to leave a message or ask questions. And thanks for watching, guys.